Okay. Hi, everyone. This is Gina Golden with Inner Coach Counseling, and I am excited, so excited to introduce you to a lovely person who is going to be my next guest speaker at our holistic wellness series. Um, and as you know, we've been doing this for a few months now, and I've been inviting some um, awesome women uh, to speak about various topics. And this particular topic that's coming up this Saturday, September the 14th at uh, 1 p.m., uh, we'll have a dynamic speaker named Janelle. And Janelle is going to be talking about mindfulness and the power of herbal, the healing powers of herbal tea. So she's going to be talking about herbal tea and herbs and all of that, but we're going to, I'm going to interview her just so you can get a taste of what she has in store for us this coming Saturday. So here is Janelle. Janelle, do you want to introduce yourself to our viewers? Yes. Hello, everyone. Hi, my name is Janelle Skeet, and I will be I'm doing this workshop with Ms. Gina Golden on Saturday. I'm really excited about that, and um, I look forward to meeting some of you guys there, hopefully. Yes, yes, yes. So, so, Janelle, just tell us a little bit about that first interaction you had with herbs. Absolutely. What was that like? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It was exciting. Um, actually, it started off with my grandmother. My grandmother is a natural healer, and she's also um, the matriarch of our family. When I was a young girl, I actually um, had asthma really, really bad. And my grandmother actually developed this pretty strong concoction, and it literally took the asthma away to the point where right now I don't have any symptoms, anything related to, to the asthma. So um, being a young girl and being a woman now, I understand and I learned to appreciate the healing powers of herbs. So it really is in my DNA. <laughs> I love that. I love that. So your grandmother passed down a very powerful healing tool to you and you were able to experience it, the effects of it firsthand. So that's, that issue, is your grandmother still alive? Yes, she is. She is and she is strong-willed in every way, but um, she's very proud of me in the direction that I'm going. Mm. And I still reference um, some things to her to this day. So it's and been a, a blessing that she is still here to help me and to actually witness this. So, yeah. I love that. I love that. Great job. Great job, Grandma. <laughs> yes, Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So, so you mentioned that it was in your DNA. You mentioned that your grandmother was that first introduction to herbs. So, what made you take it further and actually get um, training? Um, you know, to be an herbologist? And it's really simple. It was because it was something I enjoyed doing. Um, it was fun for me. And I'm an avid believer that if you find something that you enjoy doing, that you should definitely try to pursue it. So there's no complicated answer to it. It's just something that I really enjoy doing and it's fun. And um, again, I feel like when you have those, those activities in your life, you should definitely try to pursue them. So... Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, I want to honor and respect the the uh, training that you received. So is it called herbologist or is it herbalist? What's the appropriate yeah. name? It's herbalist, mm -hmm. and I actually um, took more training on herbal care. And when I say herbal care, I'm really talking about herbal care that relates to your emotional, mental, and spiritual balance. So there are... Um, certain types of herbs that can actually help with those things. So most people know herbs as far as helping with your physical ailments, like high blood pressure, maybe headaches, or high cholesterol. But there are herbs out there that can definitely help you with your emotional balance, your mental balance, and even lower symptoms related to anxiety. So that's where my herbal care er education is really centered on. So. Love it, love it. Which is why I think you're perfect for our series, our holistic series, right? Because we're all about mind, body, spirit, wellness. And 
So my, my speakers have been so dynamic in bringing all of these natural remedies, these things that we have access to, but may not have understood how to use them, how to get access to them. And so you bring that wonderful element. And then you can even expound on, you know, people who already are tea drinkers or use herbs, and maybe you can help them really incorporate that into their mindfulness practice, right? Yes, so absolutely, absolutely. And that's the exciting part. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm really excited. <laughs> so, because I know the listeners kind of want to get some nuggets from you, um, can you offer us at least one example of how we can use herbal tea in our mindfulness practice? Absolutely. So, um, utilizing herbal tea in your mindfulness practice is pretty easy, but it really takes a lot of concentration on the person. Because when we talk about mindfulness, we're talking about being in the here and now. So can you imagine having this cup of tea in front of you and you're being actually in the here and now with that cup of tea? So that means that you're connecting with that tea. You're allowing that tea to go down your body and you're connecting with how it's going down your throat. You're connecting with the way that it smells. You're connecting with the way that it tastes. So if you're able to concentrate on just that cup of tea for that short period of time, think about how you can transfer that same energy maybe into your work atmosphere or maybe into relationships or even maybe into that project that you've had put on the show for a long time but you just really hadn't had the time to do it because of concentration. So what he can do in the mindfulness exercise is just being a tool in helping concentration. Mm, I love it. I love it. You know, mindfulness is the new buzzword. It's the new thing that so many people are getting into. Yes. And it is extremely helpful. You know, it has long lasting health benefits for our physical bodies, our mental, our spirit. So just adding the herbs and the teas in conjunction with a mindfulness practice, I could see that how that can really help someone, you know, just maintain a healthy balance, as you said. And we know that, you know, herbs have, you know, medicinal effects on our, on our bodies. And so that, that seems like such a wonderful combination dealing with, you know, herbs that heal and then the mindfulness aspect, aspects of our daily practice. So I love that. And so if you come to the workshop, you'll de definitely learn more about mindfulness and how to incorporate in, that into your life. So I have an, uh, about two more questions. Um, so, uh, so Janelle, can you give us at least three things that people that come to this workshop, what can they walk away with? What are some concrete um, tips or things or practices that they could walk away with when they come this Saturday? Absolutely. Well, they'll definitely learn how to select and pick different herbs and tea blends. Um, they will also learn about five, five herbs that they need to have in their pantry. Mm. And they're also going to learn how to incorporate teas into their mindfulness. They're going to actually do about two to three exercises. So it's going to be a very hands-on interactive session. And then also, again, what we've been talking about throughout this whole session is balance. We're going to learn how these teas can help us with our emotional, mental, and spiritual balance. So we're going to kind of make a song out of that as well, because I really want people to get a lot out of this workshop, and I want them to be able to utilize this into their everyday practice. I love it. So so I emotional, love it. mental, spiritual <laughs> balance. <laughs> mental. I love it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is going to be so much fun. This is going to be so much fun. So yeah, it's very important that people know that when they leave, they can actually have a practical tool they can actually implement. And I love all of my workshops are very experiential. You know, people can, you know, do something hands on. So mm -hmm. they feel a part of it. They know what to do when they get home, because a lot of times you'll go to a workshop and you listen to all this information, but you really don't know how to implement it. Absolutely. So you're going to teach us how to implement so that we could take those practices at home and use them for, for our own lives. And even at work, too, because let's be honest, you know, there are periods of stressfulness that happen. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we need a time out. We get a 30-minute break from work, maybe 15-minute break. 
you can have a cup of tea, your herbs, and you can get into your mindfulness and just mm -hmm. block everything out so that you can rejuvenate yourself and then go back at it. So not just home, but at work. Most importantly, I do mindfulness at work as well. So it's definitely yeah, that's that's a very interesting point because so many of my clients deal with work stress. Yes. And it's just I think it's on the rise. Mm -hmm. There are clients that experience um, work stress as well as microaggressions mm -hmm. and even some racial tensions at work, some you know, sexual harassment, all sorts of things happen at work because that's where we spend the bulk of our time. So to be able to utilize your teas and your herbs and your mindfulness practice at work is going to be key to your homeostasis, to your balance. And so I'm glad you brought that up. And I think that's going to be a very powerful tool to teach the attendees that come because we are always at work. That's yeah. where, you know, that's where we are at least half of the day and sometimes even more than half. Yes. So... <laughs> So awesome. Is there any last or closing remarks you want to share with people to encourage them to come out? Any tips they can do beforehand or anything they can bring to the workshop, whether it's a mindset or an item or a teacup or something? <laughs> Absolutely. I'm glad that you brought that up. I'm going to have some teacups there. So they don't have to bring anything. Just bring your openness, your willingness to participate and learning something new. And if also you are already utilizing mindfulness, please share your experience. So I'm um, just be there. Um. Be there. <laughs> well, you know, speaking of be there, what would you say to someone who is a coffee drinker, Ooh. but they don't drink tea? Should they come to the workshop or how will they benefit? Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Um, the same principles that apply to tea drinking can also um, can apply to coffee drinkers or tea coffee drinking as well. I mean, it's just a different type of substance. However, the actual exercise, the overall goal is the same, which is peace, mindfulness, less stress. So absolutely, that was a very good question. Mm, good. Awesome, awesome. Okay, everyone. So I'm ex so excited about this Saturday, September the 14th at 1 p.m. We're located in the Buckhead area of Atlanta, Georgia, easily accessible by way of uh, Interstate 85. We're off of Buford Highway. There's free parking. It's handicap accessible. So everything you need, you can just pull up into the driveway and come right on in. The cost is only, drum roll please, da -da 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 -da. <laughs> I can't roll, I never could roll my tongue. Um, <laughs> that's, that's, my daughter is like, you can? I'm like, no, I can't. Um, the cost is $20, okay? So that's like two cups of coffee at Starbucks. <laughs> I mean, uh, it's, it's so... It's a tea, right? It's, well, you, do they sell tea? They sell tea. They do. Okay, okay. I, I yeah, um, I typically don't get tea from Starbucks. I kind of drink my own tea, but that's sure. good to know. So, yeah, so for the cost of two cups of tea, you can, or, you know, two and a half cups of tea, you can join us and learn how to expand your tea drinking experiences, how to um, implement mindfulness, um, harmony, balance, peace, calm, relaxation, tranquility into your life. We all need it. We all can use it, especially at, at work, like Janelle said, or at home, on the weekends, if you go to a retreat, this can benefit you. Um, and I mean, I'm, you know, as long as you are, you know, a young adult up, you can come, you know, tea is pretty safe for most people. Of course, uh, Janelle can talk about any um, caveats to tea drinking and what that might mean. But um, as far as I know, it's generally, you know, safe for everyone. Um, but the tickets are on sale now. You can go to the Eventbrite link that will be posted um, either above or below this video. Um, and I hope to see you this Saturday. So once again, the workshop is called Mindfulness and the healing power of healing tea. We hope to see you there. All right. Take care, everyone. Thank you, guys.